you should research the company, check out the website, Facebook page, Twitter feed, and other social media before the interview. How does the company present itself, its workplace culture, and its employees? If the dress code appears to be business casual, then break out your slacks and dress shirt. If it's more formal, then dress the part in traditional business attire from head to foot. Do not dress down. It's better to be slightly more formal than required than to come to the interview dressed too casually, as this gives the appearance that you are not serious about the position. If you're unsure at all, dress better than you think is necessary. Project Confident Body Language Sit up straight, lean slightly forward, and look your interviewer in the eye. Smile and engage with each interviewer and nod slightly as he or she speaks. Try not to slouch or cross your arms as questions are asked. Don't fidget. Try to project body language that is positive and indicates interest. The best way to show confidence is by sitting in an open stance. That's why you shouldn't cross your arms or do anything that makes you seem hesitant or closed off. Stay poised and relaxed. Interviews are designed to see how you react to challenge. That's why so many interviewers try to throw in that one unexpected question. When it comes, be relaxed, flexible, and as engaging as possible. Keep a smile on your face even if you don't have a ready answer. This will show your interviewer that you don't get rattled, even when you don't have all the answers. If you need time to think, say, that's a great question, let me think for a second. I want to give you a good answer here. No hiring manager is going to fault you for doing that once or twice. Don't show signs of panic and don't lose your cool if things take an unexpected turn or you face a tough question. Also don't rush while answering. You don't want to blurt something out that you can't take back, so stay calm. Let the interviewer feel in control. Let them take the lead and follow the general direction that they're guiding the conversation in. Chances are they have certain things they need to find out from you in order to know if this job is a good fit. And the more you help them gather this info, the better they'll feel about you as a candidate, even if you're missing one or two pieces of experience. This doesn't mean you should be completely passive and let it be a one-sided conversation. Don't be afraid to ask the interviewer to clarify something, ask questions midway through the interview, or even go back to a topic you previously discussed if you think of something extra you want to share. So while you don't want to dominate the conversation, remember, the interviewer has topics and questions they need to cover, do ask follow-up questions and turn the interview into a dialogue, not just a one-way question and answer session. Go into your interview prepared to highlight the abilities and the aspects of your background that you believe make you a good fit for the position. Take notes on the position and the company, as well as relevant aspects of your qualifications that make you a strong candidate. Taking the time to research the company and job will help you remember what you want to say, and will allow you to weave your knowledge into the answers to their questions. The worst mistake you can make is to skip the pre-interview research stage of preparation. Let's repeat this, the worst mistake you can make is to skip the pre-interview research stage of preparation. Bring up past successes where appropriate, but make sure that you are constantly showing how these past accomplishments will bring value to your next employer. It's tempting to ramble on about your successes in a former job, but do not focus on the specifics of a past role to the point where it dominates the conversation. Remember that even if you loved that former position and learned a great deal from it, your next employer is only interested in how that experience will translate into your new role and benefit them.